All right, what's up, what's up, y'all? This is Andrew Lindley representing the DJ Connect. Y'all know what it is. Make sure you guys are liking and, and subscribing to this fire. Uh, it really helps just push this out to YouTube, to the other people who need this kind of content. It helps me out like a lot. So if I'm helping you guys at all, please just smash that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button because there's nothing but fire coming out. Um, so today I wanted to really just kind of go over the... Um, the Serato plugins. Um, I did a video on on just on Serato period, but I didn't really dig into the plugins at all. So that's what I want to do here today. I want to kind of just like run run it down because I did have a guy. Uh, he was asking questions about like when he plugs in his controller, all of these buttons here go away. Like the the crossfader goes away, the uh, the EQs go away, and he didn't understand why. Um, all that is is because it's called Serato Play. What that does is it allows me to like play. Um, DJing on uh, on the computer. So I'm just gonna pull up some music here. Um, this is mainly for like if you were ever well one in a, a giant emergency like maybe your controller crashed you're still gonna be able to DJ but it mainly I'd say it's for like when you're at home trying to like figure out concepts or working on like if you're on a flight or something and you wanted to like prep all your crates and or mix a set or make some remixes or something that's where this would come in handy. Um, because you you can literally DJ um, just on the computer. Uh, so let me see. I just got to turn up the desktop audio because I don't have my sound on because I got contractors outside. Um, but I'm just going to kind of show you what you can do here. So with the space bar too, like this is where your hotkeys would really come in handy because now you can DJ with your hotkeys. Uh, obviously, I should just pick a different track. Uh, 80. 280s, so it's easy, nice, and simple. Um, are these are the same tracks, Sadder Song. Uh, it looks like it. I cannot be. There we go. I cannot be. Oh, they are the same song. Uh, sorry, guys, for this waste of your time. <laughs> um, whatever, whatever. I'll just show you how it works, anyways. It doesn't matter. Um, so once you have your hotkeys, you can literally just like play on your computer. So in in a giant emergency, you'd be able to DJ on the computer. Um, space bar is deck one, enter is deck two. So, uh, and then you have all of your like hotkeys for your cue points. So we're just gonna drop this here. One, two, three, go. Uh, now let's pitch it up a little bit and fix. Now we're, we're already mixing here. Let's filter it out. That was terrible. Terrible backspin, but hopefully you get the idea. Like that's what um, play is for. And I had a guy asking me like why that goes away. As soon as you plug in your controller, now you have that stuff like on your controller. So you'd be using your controller. There's, there's no need to have... Um, these things here. Um, all this is for is literally offline uh, and it's a plugin. So for all of your plugins, you would come here, uh, expansion packs, uh, and this is where most of them will be. If you got Serato video, this is where you would enable it. You would start it. Uh, your sampler, that's where the sampler is. And these are things you have to enable. Like if you just opened up Serato right off a fresh install, you do have to come in here and enable this stuff. Um, so live playlists and Serato playlists, this is, I believe this is a plugin for Twitch where it's gonna start sending the music through from, um, from Serato to Twitch. It's gonna pop up and show you what's playing. Um, Serato playlist is probably, that I'm not too sure about. Let's, let's check the uh, help tools here, tool tips. Um, click to enable disable playlist, which can export it on Serato. Okay, so you can literally just like export this stuff to um, Serato.com and like share your your information that way. Um, if that's something you were interested in doing, it's not something I would ever do. But if you're ever looking for playlist, that might be a good place to look, like where people are sharing their sets. Um, that'd be a good place for you to go check out and get other people's playlists and see what they're playing. Uh, Serato Remote is. Um, this is something that uh, I use it for sound switch, but you can actually get like a an, an app on your phone if you have an iPhone uh, where you can like DJ off your iPhone and it's gonna connect to Serato. It's dope, it's amazing. Uh, I have an Android, so I can't do it. But I do use sound switch, which is like a lighting program. I'm definitely gonna dig into that uh, soon for you guys because the more I'm playing with it, I'm really starting to understand it a lot more. Uh, it's it's dope. Like if you guys are looking for a lighting controller, it's definitely the one to pick up. Uh, pitch in time. This is the greatest thing. This is what makes Serato Serato and better than 
all other, other uh, programs, in my opinion. Sorry about that. Um, so, as I was saying, pitch and time is, like, it is the reason that Serato is so good. Um, they've really nailed it when, like, how... I don't want to sit here and, like, explain how it works, but, like, pitch and time is for when, like, if you went to, like, plus eight, it's going to keep it kind of within key. Like, you're not you're not going to be changing the key at all, but you're going to be getting that, like, that plus eight. So, for me, I would never really mix out of, like, plus... I even... I, I feel bad saying plus eight, but I know I've done it. So, I'm not going to sit here and say I've never done it before. I've definitely done it, but there is, like, there is a limit. You don't want to stretch it too much, but you could get up to, like, plus ten, uh, especially if you're using acapellas. Like, this is definitely the way to, to do remixes. Always, like, run it through pitch and time first, and then you're going to make some, like, really sick remixes. Um, one thing that really came in awesome is I was doing my brother's wedding's first dance, uh, it was this very, very slow country song. I pitched it right up. I got it to within like, it was like a five minute song and I cut it down to like three minutes with like a few chops and speeding it up. And they like, they couldn't even tell any different. Um, but it was like, it was literally at least like plus eight. It was like plus eight, plus 10, really sped up way faster. Um, and it sounded like the original track. So this is one of the reasons that I think like Serato is, at least for me, it's like, it's definitely the go-to um, because pitch and time is like, it's, it's incredible. Um, everything about it is really good. Sorry, I just, <laughs> I got contractors outside, man. Very distracted. Not the time to be doing videos, but I need to be, uh, doing more videos just because, um, YouTube, man. I love you guys. I love you guys for supporting me. So make sure you guys are smashing that thumbs up button. Um, next up is Serato Flip. I haven't really dug too much into Flip, I'll be honest. I do have it, um, and I've seen the use for it. Like, it's a really dope um, plugin, but I haven't really dug into it myself. Um, I don't mind, like, I have so much space out there. I don't mind, like, getting all of the music. A lot of people say, like, oh, you're cluttering your library when you can just make a flip of all these things. Um, one, that's more time. I have to go through and make a copy of these that I could just download within seconds. Instead, I'd be have to, like, I'd have to go spend a few minutes building out these flips. Um, either way, like, if it's something you use, that's amazing. If it's not, that's amazing too. Like, I'm not going to sit here and talk bad about someone who uses it. It's just not something that I use, like, but I've seen the utility for it. Like, it is actually really dope, especially if, like, you can't get an extended version of a track. You can just build it within Flip. Uh, and then Serato Play is that one that I was just talking about. Um, the crossfader here. So, that's it. Uh, once you've enabled your, um, your plugins, they all come up here. Um, an awesome thing is I probably talked about it, but day mode, incredible. I love day mode. It's awesome. Horizontal. It's definitely all I've talked about all of this in the other video. If you haven't seen that one, um, yet, definitely go check it out. It's just the Serato, um, uh, I guess like a rundown Serato video, probably like last month I made it. Uh, I'll probably get better. I'm very new at YouTube, so I don't understand how to link things yet. We'll figure it out. We'll get there. No worries. Um, and I'll always be doing new videos, so never never be too worried. I'm going to do stuff all of the time. Always, if you, and if you guys have questions, drop them in the comments right now, and I will definitely make a video for you explaining whatever it is that it is. Um, but I need the comments from you to know what you guys are looking for. So feel free. Like, don't, don't feel like it's a bother. Nothing like that. I love helping people. It's the, the whole reason that I'm doing this at all. Like I do this for free out of the goodness of my heart so that I can help raise the industry, um, and raise, help raise new DJs because DJs are becoming like a fleeting thing. Like, I don't know about you guys, but DJ finding DJs in my city is very difficult. Uh, very hard. Um, so first up you got the record. I, I I don't think this is a plug-in, but it's here. It's beside them all. It's amazing. Uh, if you want to record your sets, this is where you do it. Um, once your decks are plugged in, you can either record deck one, deck two, or the mix. I would normally just leave it on mix. That's going to give you everything. Record it, save it. You're good to go. Uh, next up is the FX. Serato effects are sick. Um, I can't use them on the... Uh, Rev 7, and, and I also couldn't use them on the 1000 DDJ um, SRT when I had that. Uh, the last thing that I got to use them on was the SX2, and I loved them. Like, they were, they sounded nice, they were very clean, um, but it, it's only kind of there for if your knobs allow you to have them. Um, the ones I have, I have like the paddle, no uh, the paddle, 
effects effects pads i guess that's the real name i have the effects pads and then on the 1000 you have the like the onboard uh post fader effects in the bottom so you're not even using them anymore um so i can't really speak on any of them anymore definitely the echo is something i used to always use maybe delay um but yeah there's there's tons of them uh if you have like a older controller or ones that have the knobs on them you can definitely map these to that as well i'm sure that i could actually like map my controller to that but like the the pioneer effects are incredible i don't need to change anything like they're there they're great uh but this is a an, an amazing second option and that's this is something also that i came up with when um, i was talking with somebody who uses like the all-in-one controllers um he told he was telling me about like how for him to set up a sampler he had to like stick the usb in he had to like create these little cue points within the software to and, and then always enable them like he had to load them to run the sampler that's when i noticed like i will never be able to get an all-in-one system like i'm never gonna be able to leave my my laptop like my laptop to me is the most important thing of of all of my dj gear more important than the controller more important than anything it's the laptop because everything is at your fingertips you got your effects here you got your sampler here everything is here and it's all built in and it's all hot keyed or it's built into your controller for me i can never go all in one and again like i'm not hating on all in one it's just for me it is the single most important part of uh my dj bag is that controller like absolutely imperative to me and then next up, we got the sampler. Uh, let's see here. There we go. I have a few loaded in here. Um, I don't have my hard drive plugged in right now, so you're not going to see all of my samples. But um, once you have your sampler, sampler, obviously, we all know the sampler. It is the, the one. It's the uh, the horn that everyone wants to use. Um, I did. I think I've done a video where I really dug into the sampler, but I'm, I'll do another one. I could talk about the sampler for like an hour long. Um, but you got your sampler here. And you get multiple banks. So depending depending on your controller that you have. Um, you can fill these all up with different, like different kinds of sounds. I usually just stick to one bank cause I don't, I don't need that many sounds, but like if you want to have them, like you could say you could have like all horns in bank A, bank B could be like all um, risers, uh, bank C could be like all of the downers. And then D could just be like your tags, your name, your business name, whatever it is. Um, there's so many different options. For me, I don't, I don't use too many different ones. This one, this is the one I use all the time. Perfect. It's, it's my, uh, my signature. My, uh, I love Street Fighter. Just, I love it, and it is what it is. You can't, you can't hate on me for that. Uh, and that's it for the sampler. Next up, we got Serato Flip. This is one I was talking about before. Um, let's uh, check in here. Let me pull something in here. Oh yeah, it's not plugged in, obviously. Crate one, there we go. So let's see if I can do this right off the the, uh, the hop here. Um, it's not something I've ever done before and I assume it's really dependent on beat grids. So uh, where are we at here? It looks like it's gridded out properly. Uh, it's a little bit off. So. One, two. Anyways, let's see if I can, let's see if I can figure this out on the, uh, on the hop right here. So assume you have to put quantize on. Quantize is going to like pull it to that beat grid. It's gonna make sure that's on beat grid. Um, I don't know the specifics on how it works. It's something I can definitely look into, but quantize is basically gonna like make sure that when it's saying that it's like 80 BPM, um, back in the day when you had like bands and stuff, nothing was ever exactly on BPM. But now that everything is digitally produced, like it should be, um, so what quantize is doing is really just trying to make sure that it's stuck to those beat grids so let's give it a try here let's record something that's a loop obviously so uh interesting oh that's why i had the beat grid button on so let's try this out two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four then i'll go into it it's already like pretty long so i don't want to i don't want to make that happen or play it out again let's try it out there you go <coughs> 
So the magic of this right here is like, if you don't have an extended bar intro already to a song, you can make them. Like you can literally just build them on the fly. Oh, it recorded even from that first first part that I did. It recorded it right from the start before I even knew what I was doing. That's actually really cool. That's awesome. So now from here, you can like you can actually save this into your right here into the flip. So now this could always be enabled. I don't want that. Uh, I don't want it to continue to loop. But now you can you can save these so that you could have one track like this one version of this track, and then you could make like a four bar intro, eight bar intro, sixteen bar intro. You can build them all within the same track, and all it's doing is storing metadata. So you're not storing like multiple copies of the exact same track. Uh, I'm sure this is something that you really got to play around with, learn it, but. Uh, not some yeah right now it's on um flip one i don't want that I'm, I'm just gonna delete it um yeah but once you've created them it, it's um gonna be installed on the like the metadata so now you don't have to have multiple copies of the same track uh it's really awesome um i can see the utility for it but for me like it's not something that i use or i need um because i got like look i have all of them i got the intro dirty intro clean clean uh i'm sure that you could even go through there and make like um clean edits of tracks too using the sensor button you could probably go in here and like there's probably so, a lot of things that you can do if you really spent the time with it it's not something that i use because i just download the music it's not something i'm too concerned with um but i do see the utility to it so if it's something that interests you definitely check it out i'm sure that you can make a lot of cool things you can make like custom edits of tracks too like if you want to cut out like a break that doesn't work I'm sure you can do that. You can just make it play the way that you want it to play. Uh, and then last up is uh, Serato Play, which we've already talked about, already discussed. Uh, I had a question about that, so that's why I created this video here today. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, any more comments, always drop them in the chat. Uh, and if you, like, if you have more questions about the software, definitely drop it in the comments and I will just make a video like I made this video for another guy. So see y'all later. Make sure y'all like and subscribe and, uh, and wait for my anger video because it's going to be good. It's going to be good. You know, we have to show ourselves respect and you guys will see that on the next video that I post. See y'all later.